Most papers have pictures of large swathes of Britain covered by a blanket of snow. The Daily Telegraph says Highways England claimed much of Sunday's disruption on the roads was due to a lack of cars. It quotes an official saying that the gritters relied on traffic spreading the sort, but most people heeded warnings not to travel unless absolutely necessary. The Daily Express says the big freeze is set to get worse, with Arctic conditions possible until Christmas Day. The Times believes Theresa May's delicate Brexit compromise on Ireland is in danger of unravelling after the government's commitment to the deal was questioned in both Brussels and Dublin. The paper says the Brexit secretary, David Davis who on Sunday described Friday's agreement as a statement of intent which was not legally enforceable is said to have exasperated officials on the continent and in the Irish Republic. According to the I, Mr Davis has broken ranks on the EU deal by saying that Britain will refuse to pay a divorce bill if the trade talks fail. Half Post UK says the Irish government will hold the British government to account for the deal and described the Brexit secretary's comments as bizarre. In an editorial, the Daily Telegraph says that throughout the tortuous Brexit process, the government's position has been remarkably consistent. It says that as long ago as last November a ministerial aide was photographed in Downing Street, carrying papers with the headline Canada Plus. Quote, the paper says this is the government's aim taking the UK out of the single market and the customs union, while retaining as much friction as trade as possible. The chairman of one of the NHS's biggest trusts, Lord Kerslake, tells The Guardian that he has resigned because hospitals are so seriously underfunded that they cannot perform their key roles properly. Lord Kerslake, who has left his role at King's College Hospital, London, says that ministers are in denial about how much money the NHS requires. NHS England's leadership is locked in a public dispute with ministers over what they claim is the denial of sufficient funds to the health service. It is thought Lord Kerslake's resignation could prompt a renewed focus on government funding of the health service. The Independent says police are failing to attend around 11% of domestic violence calls, up from 5% between 2012 and 2016. The paper says the number of alleged domestic violence incidents going unattended by police has soared, with the worst offending forces missing a quarter of call-outs 